Welcome back to the shop, guys. This is, we, we gotta get serious for a minute, okay? And we're gonna talk about fuel filters here, and, and specifically Bobcat fuel filters. And if you own a machine, you know, a Bobcat machine, pretty much from 2013 through 2020, you're probably gonna have a fuel filter like this on your tier four engines. Um, these are expensive fuel filters, you know, I get it. You know, this is like a $70 filter, so it's expensive to maintain these machines, but it is extremely important to have a high quality fuel filter on your machine because these high pressure common rail diesel engines are, you know, have such tight tolerances. You know, we're running at such high pressure, you know, 30, 40,000 PSI. Um, and, and the tolerance inside these injectors, it's, it's on a microscopic level. You know, and it is so important not to have any contamination or water entering that system or you're going to damage these injectors. Now, injectors for these engines are like $1,000 each. So if you damage one, you know, that's 1000 two plus the labor to put them in, three, four. You know, a complete fuel system could cost you up to $10,000. So the problem is now that, like I said, it's a $70 fuel filter. So, you know, me personally, I would want to look for an alternative, you know, maybe... Donaldson or um, uh, Wix or Napa Gold or someone like that might have an aftermarket filter. It's a little bit cheaper. I can save some money. The problem is nobody else is making an aftermarket filter except the Chinese. The Chinese has flooded our market. I'm talking the last two years, really the last year, they have absolutely flooded our market with their knockoff fuel filters. Okay, and you can get these things for like $22 free shipping. You know what? It's a fuel filter. Why the hell? I'm going to save 50 bucks, you know, not buying from Bobcat and buy one of these. That would be a huge mistake, okay? And let me tell you why. Let's start with the Bobcat filter. The Bobcat filters are made by Fleet Guard, which is Cummings Filtration. And I, I cut this one open, and what we find in here is um, Fleet Guard Cummings proprietary nano net material. Well, just looking at it, how do I know it's nanonet? Well, it looks like nanonet material if you know anything about filter media. And also on the Bobcat filter housing itself, if we can see right here, it has nanonet advanced media. Oh, crap. It also says made in China. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there, there, there's, you know, there, there's different Chinese factories and quality control and all that. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, all right. But anyways, extremely high quality fleet guard filter with nanonet media technology. What is nanonet? Nanonet is a fully synthetic woven fiber material that is almost 99.8% efficient um, to four micron. There's, there's no such thing as a 100% efficient, you know, filter, but that is... That is quite impressive as far as this goes. And not only is that a very, very fine uh, filter material, the fact that it's 100% synthetic makes it virtually waterproof. This does not absorb water. So that helps, you know, with the water separation from the fuel um, into the, the bottom half of the filter here where the, the water settles. So it, it keeps the uh, water from soaking in and passing through the filter because you know when we, we think contamination entering our fuel system the first thing we think of is just dirt dirty fuel right well, water is also a form of contamination and water is a fuel system killer absolute fuel system killer so it is very important to have a good high quality uh, fuel filter on your machine so there it is fleet guard nanonet material extremely high quality very very good filter you get what you pay for okay the other Chinese filter <laughs> okay I bought five of these I bought them from several different sources uh, one on Amazon I think I bought one on eBay and a couple are private leveled from are labeled from um, aftermarket skid steer part sellers that that I really like I buy a lot of parts from these places and they are selling these filters. 
So I bought a filter, you know, from five different companies. So I got five different ones, and I'll show you. They come in all different types of packaging. And well, here, here's one box I got in. You know, it, it the filter doesn't even hardly fit in the box, right? It's it's not wrapped or anything. I mean, contamination from shipping, you know, just from the box being thrown around the factory, the floors, the resellers, the shipping company. There, there's no wrap on these. I got three of these with absolutely no you know, that, that uh, heat shrink wrap around it. Um, I did get one that was did come in a much nicer box um, that is, you know, heat shrink wrapped, but it's the exact same filter. And then I have a couple others that are, you know, I also cut those open. They got the exact same insides in it that um, um, are private label, and I don't want to show those. I don't want to, because they do have their name on them, but it's the exact same filter. So we cut this one open. What do we find? We find a paper, excuse me, a paper, you know, 100% cellulose filter cartridge inside of there. Um, you know, no filter markings or anything on side you know, inside to know what the outside material of this filter is. Where this one is, uh, I believe it's a PA66. Yeah, PA66 glass fiber reinforced, 33%. So very high quality outer body. And this one is also a glass fiber reinforced, but there's no markings on it. You know, China doesn't even have to do that. So uh, we don't know exactly how much glass fiber is in there. Um, fuel water sensor. Um, it's, I guess there's not much to say about that. You can tell it's a very, very cheap quality compared to the Cummins fuel water sensor. Uh, we know this is a Cummins fuel water sensor because the actual part number's on it. And if we cross that number, it comes up as a Cummins fuel water sensor. Um, but yeah, this is a fuck, I'm trying to keep it clean. This is a paper filter. It absorbs water. It lets water pass, you know, it'll soak it in and it'll let it pass right through and it enters your fuel system. And not only that, th there's no way this paper filter is good to 4 micron. This might be a 10 micron filter and you you're going to destroy your, your, your fuel system, okay? How do I know? Because I'm part of a lot of groups, you know, on the internet and all, and we do kind of a failure analysis on these high pressure common rail systems and you know, contamination in water is 99%, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but is a very high percentage of fuel system failures. And, you know, we started to find a trend on these certain fuel systems with these Chinese filters. And that's the problem is that you don't want to pay $70 for a Bobcat filter. You know, when you can buy one of these for $25, you can buy you know, three of these almost for the price of this. But God, guys, you get what you pay for, okay? Um, there's no other manufacturer on the market other than, you know, getting a genuine Bobcat fuel filter. There's nobody else making this filter because, like I said, that's a proprietary filter material um, from Fleet Guard. So Wix isn't making it. Napa Gold's not making it. Donaldson's not making it. This aftermarket Chinese filter and I don't care what sticker what label you see on it like I said I bought five different brands and they're all the exact same cheap ass Chinese filter that is going to destroy your $10,000 fuel system so we're gonna do more testing and all on these filters so please you know stay tuned but I, I just wanted to get this information out there um, you know get the warning you know, kind of, kind of get you ahead of the game before you get the tim. You know, be tempted to buy one of these filters because I know, trust me, I know. I, I, I didn't see any reason why you know anybody wouldn't want to buy one of these for the price difference. But there you have it, paper filter material. It is trash, absolute trash. So, you get what you pay for, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned, and we will do some more actual filtration. That's why I, that's why I didn't cut all my filters open because we want to do an actual filtration test on these. Um, I've got a filter head ordered coming in for it that we can do that with. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.